store slash tackle shop um, which happens to be like 500 yards away from our campground tackle shop. <laughs> <laughs> we need some little red lures in here can't believe they don't have little red lures could you do some finger mill I had a pack of this at my house we could have brought. Oh look, they're my boots. It, mine looks so different now. Cute. It's a large though. Did you get them all? Oh, no, 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 I didn't get them all. <laughs> my lip. should help me come up with a better catchphrase in the comments or if you guys like that then I'll keep that but um yeah we'll check and see what the beach looks like and wet some lines here soon bunch of bait busting in the water out there so I decided to throw a little lead at them hoping for a Spanish or a bluefish but nothing ended up biting. Sand please! These little critters hide down in the sand and you can pretty easily dig them up. They are really good for pompano which I heard they were catching down on the south beaches earlier in the week. Um, some really nice sized ones too so yeah sand fleas are like candy for pompano um, and I only got one that was a good size so I put that on the hook. When I first started rigging my little bottom rig for the pompano, I put on a three ounce weight and soon realized that that was way too much for the current. It really wasn't strong at all out there and it was pretty hard to feel the pompano biting. They're really good at sealing your bait um, and so are little fish like spot and mullet which you'll see next. <laughs>
know what you guys are thinking. I wish she was in a bikini, and trust me, I wish I was too. That's my normal fishing attire. But the weather just wasn't permitting it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's when I caught the smallest sea mullet of all time. Uh, they are also called kingfish or whiting, which are really good to eat, but obviously this size is not big enough, which makes it perfect to hook onto my big rod for some live bait for a bigger fish. And this is when things really started heating up. caught a fresh spot and hooked him on my line. In this next clip, you're about to see me get hooked up to something massive. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to explain that because it's kind of hard to see and hear. Uh, but yes, watch this. Oh God. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, he's taking out line. He's taking out line. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's taking out all my line. Yes. It's literally just peeling line. It is just peeling line. Oh. 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 One of the worst feelings ever is going from a doubled over rod to absolute slack in your line. Oh, oh my gosh, I am so freaking mad right now. Oh my gosh, I'm literally shaking. Oh. Oh. Pop me right off. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh no. So I may not have landed that monster fish off the surf. And I'll never know what it was, but in my mind, I like to think that it was a red drum. I've never caught one off the surf before, but the chase continues. up over there. Let's hope this doesn't explode. First. Catch on fire. Yeah. Oh. Welcome back to our vlog guys. Listen, this is definitely not going in. Fruit by the foot. 
fruit roll-ups and magical gummy bears. <laughs> It started raining around 5 a.m. and it hasn't really stopped. So we we're planning on going fishing and I was gonna redeem myself this morning from that monster I lost yesterday. Two monsters actually, but it's just too cold and wet. The hunt for a citation red drum off the surf is to be continued, but it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Thanks for watching, guys.